here we are at uh, Wimborne and more specifically at Wimborne Minster and um, the reason why we're here is because this is where King Alfred's brother King Ethelred uh, died. Now um, it's thought that he died after um, the Battle of uh, Meretun. Um, uh, we know that there was a Battle of Meriton and he died some point afterwards, but we're not sure how long after it was. So it may be that he died from his injuries at the Battle of Meriton. And uh, one of the uh, main contenders for the site of Meriton is um, uh, Martin, which is Martin Down just in North Dorset, on the North Dorset Wiltshire uh, uh, border. And um, actually, I think it's in Hampshire because it's funny because the three counties sort of like come together in that area. But that's sort of like north of of um, Wimborne, I think maybe 10 miles or so. Uh, anyway, so it wouldn't be a surprise if he'd had if Ethelred had been fighting at that battle, had injuries, and then died here. Um, there is one source that says that uh, King Ethelred. Um, uh, was buried at um, uh, Sherborne uh, and we know that uh, King Alfred's other king bro brothers that preceded him, um, Ethel Bold and um, Ethel uh, Burt, uh, were buried at, um, uh, at Sherborne so it wouldn't be a surprise if Ethelred um, was in fact buried there as well. But I think a way to get around this problem is I think that Ethelred was buried here and then he was transferred to Sherborne to be with his other uh, uh, two brothers. Anyway, so we've now got Ethelred, um, King Ethelred dead, and the next in line is King Alfred. Now, um, the next battle was at the Battle uh, of Wilton, which is Wilton is in Wiltshire, it's not far from the North uh, Dorset. Order, and that was the first uh, battle that King Alfred was involved with and uh, as king uh, unfortunately uh, he, he lost um, so uh, Wimborne was um, a really important place then I think much more important I mean it's still important because it's got the minster but uh, it was much more important then I think than it was um, uh, then than it is now um, it's also worth remembering that um, after King Alfred had died, um, King Alfred's nephew, um, Athelwald, um, he um, uh, he took over this place uh, in an attempt to try and stop um, uh, King Edward the Elder. There was a feud between those two. King Edward the Elder was King Alfred's son, and Athelwald well, didn't think he Ethelwald thought he should have been king. So he, he took over uh, what was Wimborne or perhaps a royal estate at Wimborne. We don't know whether the, whether a royal estate, um, in the Anglo-Saxon chronicle it's called a ham. Uh, uh, we don't know whether uh, the royal estate was the whole of Wimborne or whether it was part of Wimborne, but it's, it seems almost certain that it would have been somewhere around what is now, what is now the Minster. So uh, Wimborne today, if we do a little pan round, um, this is only just a little bit of Wimborne, um, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's a busy place. Um, Good chocolate cake in that cafe. And a nice cup of coffee. Um, so yeah, it's a must if you're in this part of the world. I've put this little uh, picture into the video because it's the only thing I can find in the Minster in Wimborne that, has, that relates uh, to the uh, events I've been talking about earlier. Um, if you go to the Minster, it's uh, uh, at the High Altar on the left-hand side. Uh, so this is the other side of um, no, Wimbledon Minster from where I was earlier. Probably a better view actually, maybe I should have done the other video there, but um, not everything's perfect, eh? Yeah.